Hey guys, I'm Rosalvain and welcome back to another part and session of Assassin's Creed 1. Where we last left off was that we were basically, uh, we just finished killing off Mr. Abul. And that was Mr. Tubby from, I believe, uh, Damascus? Yeah, so we killed off the our, our latest target in Damascus. Now we're gonna learn something new, I think. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield a blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Sure. But yeah, overall that's what we did in the last part, and it took me a long time just to get it right. Um, dodge and attack, you can follow this up. With a regular attack, okay. How come I get? All right. All right. So there's an A button now. All right. So that dodging is what was done to me earlier with the other groups. Oh, I can't. I can't dodge like that. Okay, there we go. Because the angle is like weird for me. That's my students. Is how we all should fight. Yeah. All right, we're good. All right, I don't need dodging anymore. I'm good to go. The tour is good. I understand. Yeah, I'm busy. But yeah, overall, that was that. I just wanted to learn a new move that we just learned, uh, because apparently it is something. But yeah, overall, uh, we're back, and I don't know. I'm gonna try to focus in on finishing this game once and for all. Um, getting less things to work on currently because I need to clear out most of my games that I was putting on the library that is like, that I didn't want to spend too much time on anymore than they should be. And yeah, I'm finally happy that we're just like, we're able to concentrate more on Assassin's Creed. So if I can finish up more games, I can probably concentrate more on this game and hopefully finish this game once and for all. Because this game is already long overdue somewhat for me. Uh, I was planning on trying to finish it as much as, most, as much as I can. But it's like, it takes a little bit of time. Alright, anyways. Uh, what else do we have? We got nothing else to talk about yet. But, except for that, we, our plan here in this session is to at least eliminate the two targets in the, in the uh, memory block here. In this memory block, number four, I think. And that's it, I think, for now. That's my goal right now for this session. If we can finish off both guys very quickly with investigations and all that civilian, civilian saving, then I think we're good. Then it would be easier for all of us to survive this fight. Oh. Come on, horsey. Yeah, I still lo I, I can't control the horses these days, though. It's just so impossible. It's like, you gotta be, like, so accurate or something. Or you gotta be, like... I don't know, it's just, I don't know how to explain it. It's just so hard to control the horses sometimes. Sometimes, not all the time. Like right now I'm okay, like it's all right, all okay. And then to a certain point, I get kind of like stuff. All right, let's go to Acre, since we're gonna go in order here, because I feel like Acre is when like- When you're out of knives, refill your stock by returning to Messiah. Yeah. Or by pickpocketing thugs. So they're telling me to pickpocket the thugs, so I guess I can try that? I mean, I'm not too particularly good with it, because I don't usually often use... I, I, I sometimes use throwing knives, but only for advent, like, random stuff, because I got used to playing the game without throwing knives back then. Um, because that's how I learned the game, like, I played without throwing knives, I just went in it and got everything done without anything, N nothing like particular that I would like to deal with. Why do I always do this? Where's the scholars? Scholars! Hey scholars. Come on scholars, let's go. Let's go. In we go guys. Come on. <laughs> I like how the, the, the one guy's like, I'm supposed to be that way. No 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 yeah 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 we gotta do it this way. <laughs> What's with one guy? That they're not. This is not how they usually walk in position. I guess they just got kind of. They got kind of bored and confused. They're just like, you know what? We're, we're do this side. All right. We need to talk to the uh, the headquarter, the headquarter assassin, the chief of this Assassin's Creed hub. 
so we can pick up on the next area because we can't unlock the next area I think before we talk to him so yeah and not only that sometimes if you do everything early I think you miss the first part of the dialogue like the earlier on because he always kind of express like a sort of your the person the guy always expresses emotions about what you're doing and your positioning at this moment excuse me screw you uh, just kidding no I don't I wouldn't say I wouldn't be pissed off about the ladies who are like asking for money I mean it's typical very typical very typical in historical times but yeah they, they get kind of annoying every once in a while where they're just like asking for money even though I'm like I don't want to give you money <laughs> because I can't this game doesn't seem like I have any money system here kind of weird how they didn't implement it at the beginning Man, if Assassin's Creed started off with e an economics culture in this, or an economic, like, game, gaming side to it, like, they add in, like, the small marketing and stuff like that, I think this game would have been, like, one of the best games. But I guess they were kind of, like, it, Ubisoft was pro probably too new to it, so it was, like, it was something new to them, in a sense, where they just didn't know how this game would have went, in a sense. But, uh, yeah, I mean, whatever's whatever. Like, people end up doing whatever they do, I guess, in a sense. And, yeah. At the same time, I kind of feel like it's really inspired by Prince of Persia during this time period when, when they were making this game. Uh, over here. Come on. I'm losing control every day. Every day, I'm losing control of Altair. Just trying to... Make that weirdness there. All right, here we go. Rafiq. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. <laughs> and then, there was that business with Akar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it, William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaller districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. Alrighty. We're good to go. Alright. Let's get going. Alright, so we got some info. Got it. So this time we're on the rich district, if I recall it being. Uh, where is it? See, they don't tell you right off the bat where you have to go. They just give you an assumption here. See, like when they're blocking off this area. I lost the health for that. Yeah, I never had the subtlety of walking in the streets ever. Uh, yeah, we're getting closer. Good. We need to get at least one viewpoint in order to actually unlock the whole area of like things to look forward to. That's how it usually ends up being. I mean, I don't know why wouldn't they put in the marker for you just to tell you, hey, you know, this is where you start off. Instead, they force you to find a viewpoint first. I'll have your hand for that. Shut up. Hidden. 
There we go. Bam. Come on. Yeah. Oh, there's another guy coming in. Again? Why do you keep grabbing me, dude? That's not cool. Bastards. Oh, come on. There we go. Praise God, you've saved me. All the city will know of your sacrifice. Who's responsible for this? These are dark days indeed. I gotta get running because that one guy's gonna find out. All right, let's get, let's get upstairs. Let's go up to the top here. All right, let's go up to the top. Come on. Damn it. Had to be like a specific climbing point. All right, let's go up. All right, let's see. Where do we need to find ourselves? Um... Oh, I see one. All right, let's go this way. So I'm guessing this is probably about the priest. I don't know. Like, I know there's all kinds of, like, job descriptions for the ones that are, like, in the game. I don't know how you not... How did you not grab onto those things? Like, you got... What was that? Literally, I cannot climb this? Okay, there we go. I was, like, I was holding R RT and A. I was holding on the free run. I left the free one running and then suddenly it didn't even want to run for some reason. Leave me alone, you bastards. It's forbidden for you to be here. Alright, synchronize. This should open up the uh, area up for me. Alright, here we go. All right, here we go. Come on. I'll tear. Her. There we go. Alrighty. We're good. All right, now we can start collecting on the uh, viewpoints and everything. What the hell? There was a drunk? Oh god, the drunks are replacing the cycle paths from the last the last area, I think. Alright, uh, there's a viewpoint up here, so let's climb up here. Alright, climbing up, climbing up. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know, it's just like, currently, these do all take some time, and at the same time, most of the parts of this game are all repetitive, I would say. The only difference is the storyline is different at the same time. Like, the story is only slightly different for the sense of, uh... Like, the story would change up how, however it is. The target we kill is always ends up being however it is. Um, I know there's an error. I'm, like, trying to get this viewpoint, which is, like, at the edge. Which is weird. Uh, yeah. I'm looking at the sea, and I'm scared a little bit there. There we go. Much better. Alright, we're still aiming for that viewpoint over there. We can't go through this way, so... Yeah, I don't want to bump into the soldiers. Don't want to get into a fight at the moment. Sadly, I couldn't slide on table. I think when I first saw the sliding tables on Assassin's Creed Unity, I got really interested in how this, uh, in doing the sliding because it's like it looks it looks so freaking funny or not funny. It looks freaking cool at the same time. Like I always feel like sliding is a uh, a fun thing to do sometimes. Like you just slide on tables. You're a oh, I did. I'm dead. All right, there we go. No need to worry about that asshole. All right, let's go this way. Come on, I'll tire. Quickly, quickly. We need some viewpoints. Quickly, 
So we're taking care of the ones at the edge because it's easier, I think. Because it was closer, at the same time, it was easier. It's easier to just get rid of these things first. Um, because they're just at the edge. They're not really much for me at the moment. Alright, there's a pickpocket at the edge of the city. There's more intel here. Let's go for pickpocket here. I think there's also a viewpoint over there as well, so... What the hell? Why is that guy running? Oh, he's drunk. What? Is that a Templar? Oh, it is a Templar. Alright. Never let him have his sword. Oh. Never let him get up. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I was just peacefully climbing. I was just peacefully climbing, yet they at least... Yet the Templar was like... We need to get him. And I'm like, I don't know about that, mate. You gotta just gotta let the guy go. If the guy don't wanna fight, don't wanna fight. It's ridiculous how they just force me into a fight like that. This place is restricted. Where are you? Where's this guy who's telling me that? I wonder. Alright. Where is this? Oh, is that that's where at the idiot's front is at. Come on. There we go. Up. Wait, we already got this. What? Okay. I messed it up. <laughs> Thinking that... Oh, well, no. Actually, I climbed up here because I wanted to get to the area a little bit more quicker. In a sense. And I had to... Gonna have to like be careful here. All right. Yeah, but anyways, I also want to point out that there is no PSP version remastered. I guess I wish there was. I really wish. Oh crap! That that almost failed. I almost failed and dropped down and died. That was my bad. Ah! Bye bye. He's dead anyways. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. I see where it's at. It's over here, this little edge of the corner here. That That's the viewpoint right there. Look at the water. I'm not gonna show myself, you idiot. Who the hell wants to show themselves for killing a guy who's basically not even innocent? Just... The soldier. All right. But look at the sea. I gotta admit, this is a beautiful view. Oh, also, I forgot. Uh, for some of you guys who are pissed off with me speaking, saying uh, "acre," not "acra" or something. I, I forgot how it's, how it's pronounced. I only because I forget about it. Okay. <laughs> if you guys are pissed off at this point that I keep calling it "acre" when the people in the game call it. Accra or something. I, I guess it's kind of like it, it's easy. It's harder to pronounce. It's harder for me to remember because I'm not used to pronouncing it that way. Um, look at that. Look at that area. It's like the port side sea. I remember that part of the area where where uh, Altair can't do anything because like he's gonna fall down in the water no matter what, and that becomes an issue for me <laughs> because I get really it, it gets really dicey if you start fighting over there in the piers and everything. I remember falling in the water plenty of times. Um, but I also remember that area as one of the previews for E3's uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations, where Ezio was like battling on the boats and everything, or around the boats. Let's go deal with this one. Inter interrogation, I guess. Come on! Boom! Boom! Yeah! Oh. Oh. Come on. Goodbye. Oh. 
Okay, come on. Oh. Oh, ugh. Take that. Any more fight? Wanna fight more? I'm laying a dead bodies. Laying all these dead bodies. Ugh. Come on. Oh. Stay away from me? Yeah, right. I'm gonna take you out with me. Can I not? Okay, there we go. They let you come and go as you please. I thought the fortress was closed to all. Aye, but William wishes to have repairs completed as soon as possible. It's been to our advantage. The perfect cover. It's clever. Anyway, I've finished my report and should deliver it. For once, it seems things might go our way. And not by accident. Well, the Bible does say God helps those who help themselves. Nah, it doesn't, actually. Oh. That's one of Aesop's fables. The Bible says quite the opposite, in fact. Many passages of being patient and faithful and waiting for the Lord to decide if he wishes to assist. Well, I say we've waited long enough. You'll hear no argument from me. Very well. I'm off then. Wow, they're contesting the, the, the Bible's readings, I guess. Alright, here we go. There we go. Nice. Didn't need to worry. Awesome. Alright, that was easy. That was much more difficult than I thought it was going to be. That was going to be very difficult, but I guess not. Alright, let's go do the intel thing. I really want to climb up, but I can't. For some reason. I'm trying to get that thing. Yeah, right there. We got it. Finally. No! Don't jump off when I didn't tell you to. The free run doesn't mean free run off of it. Yeah, sometimes the controls are not the funnest thing ever in this game. It's just like the controls are just like killing me inside every day. All right, let's go to Safe Citizen. I want to go for the in Intel thing, but I think it might take a little bit of time if I wanted to. Uh, if I wanted to get to. Uh, uh, if I want to get the challenge in, because it's not easy sometimes. The intel might take me some, a couple of tries if I don't know what I'm doing, that is. But so far, it's been okay. Like, the ones... There's two of them, which is... One of them I like, one of them I don't like as much. One is the racing for the flags one. And then the other one is the... Uh, what's it called? The one is the killing particular targets for him kind of thing. Alright, let's see. There's a safe civilian here. You dare steal in my presence. That will cost you your life. Alright. Die, thief. That hurts. Stop it, please. Alright. And Oh. Oh, there we go. Up, up, and we're done. Good to go. Praise God, you've saved me. All yep. the city will know of your sacrifice. Cool. But I mean, it's not much of a sacrifice for me. He's sacrificing time only. All right, let's let's grab a. Uh, uh, let's grab a viewpoint here. We'll move our way inwards, I think, after we get a little bit more done, I guess. Or actually, let's do the intel. Who cares? Oh God, don't kill me! Oh, it's you, Ashley. <laughs> you scared me. Richard's men are after me. Two of them, to be exact. Okay. I was trying to strike a deal with them, but I realized that they were toying with me, so I ran huh. away. You shall be the angel of death and collect their heads before they collect mine. When it is done, I shall tell you of the deal. Got it. Stealth assassinate both of them. All right.
All right, here we go. One guy's coming up over here, it looks like. Ow. Stupid son of a gun. He's walking in the middle of the road because he's like, oh, I own the road kind of thing. Like, he has that mentality in his in the system. Stop it! Tiger Bath! Idiot! Ah, it's such a dumbass thing. Alright, there you go. That is one person. Now we need to get the second person, which is around the corner here. To the left here. But I need to take a left somewhere. Gladly, the, there's no. T I'm, I'm happy that there's no timer here. Because if there was a timer, I would have been pissed. By the fact that I have to, like, concentrate on getting a timer. Where the hell is this guy? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna climb up. Oh no, actually I can't because I I wish I could do air assassination, but I can't because this game doesn't allow it yet or that I don't have the thing yet for it. Uh trying not to bump into people. And I don't wanna slow down either because I'm trying to rush to to get this thing done so I don't have to like focus in too much on it. Alright, here we go. Uh, there we go. We found him. He's coming closer. He's getting closer. We just need to take a corner here. And he shall be there. There he is. The single guy over there. There we go. We're good. Time to talk to the intel. Freaking that guy was far away, I think. That guy was pretty far. Oh, I almost passed the intel. Excuse me. What a relief it is to know that I am safe. Yeah. Thank you, Master. I tried to make a deal with the Citadel guards to leave the gates open even when the alarm sounds. I failed you. So now, your only escape from Richard's Citadel will be to climb the fortress walls. Forgive me. Alright, so we just, if we want to escape, we need to climb the walls. Okay, got it. Alright, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to end it here for now, just for the time being. And then in the next part, we'll focus in on more of the investigations and stuff like that. Uh, because we're just barely getting into the city, so we're just like, we're not getting as much information just yet, I guess. I'll have your hands for that. Okay. I'll have your hands for that. The guy's repeating his lines again. This'll teach you not to steal. Why are you so cruel? What have I done wrong? Thief! This'll teach you not to steal. Uh he keeps repeating his line. I'm hearing it. I'm like I'm silent because I'm hearing it. Alright, let's go and save the citizen safe citizen, I guess. As we are going to close out this episode. But thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Uh, hope to see you guys in the next part or, or another video of mine. So hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night or whatever watching this. And that'll be it for me too, of course, after this. After we're done with this, I guess. Oh. There we go. Oh. Oh, damn it. He pushed me anyways. Come back here. You're the one who freaking pushed me that way, idiot. Idiot. And we're good. Oh, fortune favors me today. God only knows what foul deeds those men intended to commit. Good of you to arrive when you did, stranger. I'll see to it that my husband hears of your bravery. Yeah, cool. Oh, oh, not another one. Alright. Anyways, yeah, so hope to see you guys in the next part of Nobody Minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night or oh, whenever watching this. And that'll be it for me today at this point. Uh, but in the next part, we'll continue grabbing all these uh, viewpoints and saving more civilians and doing more investigation to find out more about our target at the very least. But other than that, Ross.
take out all the archers first. Alright, so yeah, the basic idea was that he was trying to massacre these supporters of the war. Uh, these guys are the ones who kind of fund the money in the 